Hi, we're talking to Bev Ehrlich today. Bev is an Aliyah coach here in Israel. Hi, Bev, how are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? Very good, thanks. Bev, what are some of the unique challenges that uh, Olim families face who have a partner who still commutes? There are families who really want to live in Israel and want to bring up their children in Israel. But because of very personal reasons, financial reasons, they cannot leave their jobs in their country of origin. This is usually normally you're talking about the U.S., Canada, or the U.K. And they move their families to Israel, but they continue to commute back and forth to wherever, as I said, the States or Canada or the U.K., much of this time away from the family is very intense working time. And a lot of the time in Israel is unstructured, family oriented time. For some people, this works great. For other people, this is a whole new experience. They've never been commuting. They've never experienced commuting. Um, finding, the, one of the secrets is to find a supportive community who understand and will make this life more manageable. Some of the challenges that couples face are, as I said, that work is intense when the, the partner's away, the parent's away, and very inflexible when the parent is there. So very often the rules of the family keep changing. There's a set of rules when both parents are around. There's a set of rules when the parents are not together. The communication between the parents is dependent on Skype on the phone. And a lot of more intense events have to be expressed through this way of communication, the partner here might have to deal with a leaky roof or the air conditioning broken down, and also happy family events. A child graduates from gun or finishes 12th grade, and a parent isn't here to see that. So it's a very challenging way of living, um, but depending on how you see it and how you see the benefits of it, it works for some families and for some families. They need extra support in, in negotiating this. There's also the question of what is the message to the children when one parent doesn't work in Israel? Why does that parent continue to work out of Israel? Those are questions that the parents will have to answer as well. So there are many challenges. Um, but as I say, for some families, they find it tremendously beneficial when the parent is home and they are so flexible to spend more time with the family than they've ever spent before. Thank you, Bev. That's that's a lot uh, of good uh, advice for for people to perhaps think about and take into consideration um, when they're still in the process of discussing the aliyah and and how it will all work uh, when they when they arrive in Israel. Thank you, Bev. Pleasure. Bye.